the woman, that woman is supposed to check that other woman for talking about her husband. Quickly. She's supposed to check check her quickly and rebuke her sharply. Don't need don't let another woman talk about your husband. That's right. And not that woman is not supposed to speak about her husband in a negative way. And don't accept any woman talking about your husband. Huh. They supposed to be checked and rebuked sharply. Cuz that if, if that if you if a woman allows that, then that opens up the door to what for that woman to continually to talk about that man that that woman's husband, huh. and it ain't no telling what that's gonna lead to, which eventually is gonna lead off into some wickedness. That's what it's really gonna lead off into. Mm -hmm. huh. Okay, so um, that it. That's that's all I have to say. Okay, well this is uh. Sister Shariah, once again, this is to the sisters of Israel, the younger sisters in Israel dealing re with relationships with their husbands and with their parents once again. And um, to the Gentile sisters also who believe in Christ, who's coming in and want to learn, mm -hmm. you know, because no other, um, no other knowledge and wisdom and understanding, no other doctrine teaches you the correct way to have a relationship besides what the Most High and Christ say. That's right. Okay, Time. it's all in the scriptures. No other doctrine, no other religion, no other person. If they're not coming from um, these scriptures, Isaiah 8 and 20. Go ahead, should I read that? One more scripture. Okay. Isaiah 8 and 20. Yeah, okay. Isaiah chapter 8 and 20. If they're not coming from these scriptures, if they're not coming from the Most High and Christ, Shai, Hamashiach, the Savior, Allah Hayim, manifest in the flesh, God manifest in the flesh, Okay, God the Son, if they not coming from the scriptures, the Holy Bible, it ain't no light in them. It ain't no truth in them. Right. So don't be trusting in these sisters and believing on these sisters who talk to you if they not coming from the scriptures. Read that right okay. quick. To the law and to the testimony. If they speak not according to this word, it is because there is no light in them. Right. If the sisters are not speaking according to this word, according to the Bible, according to the truth, it means there is no light in them. It means it's all darkness. They negative. And a lot of sisters will come at you negative. They try to win you over with conversation that's not of the Bible and of the scriptures and of Christ. Okay? You got anything to say, Sharon? Don't follow the world. Follow Christ. Right. And don't follow you. Don't follow and let the parents have authority over you as a sister. You know, some sisters be coming in and be weak to their parents. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Be weak to the mother and have that bond. You got to get over that. Right. You got to get over that. Follow Christ. Because if you don't, all it's going to lead to is destruction. The man probably going to end up leaving. If he's not strong, he's going to see the, the relationship y'all have. And he's going to see the influence the mother has over her daughter. Right. If that's over him, then you don't need to be in that relationship. Either you go cut the mother out. You can still respect your mother without her having authority over you right. and trying to have authority over the man. Right. You, know, you can still respect her and love her. But at the same time, that authority and the conclusion of the whole thing is that the husband has the authority and that the woman is supposed to be subject to the man, her husband, like it says in Ephesians, in all things. Kind. Right? Go back to there right quick. Okay. Ephesians chapter 5. And when it says all things, of course it means all things in righteousness. Okay, uh, read verse, um, verse 24, Ephesians 5 and verse 24. Okay, Ephesians 5 and 24. Therefore, as the church is subject unto Christ, so let the wives be to their own husbands in everything. Right, in everything. Come. So the, the woman is supposed to be subject unto the husband in everything, not just some things and everything. So there shouldn't be any influence of the father or the mother when you have a relationship or when you are in Christ that's going to sever or be negative towards that relationship. You understand? There shouldn't be influence of the parents, shouldn't have any influence that's negative okay. over the husband or over her daughter. Okay. Right? It says the woman is supposed to be subject to her man in everything, in all things. Okay, so there shouldn't be no secret relationships going on with the daughter and her mother 
or if it's not secret, there shouldn't there still shouldn't be any relationship to where it's splitting the husband or splitting the daughter away from the husband. Okay. okay. Has to be subject in all things and everything. Are we subject to Christ in all things? Yes. Well, the woman has to be subject to the man in all things. That means no interference, outside interference of any parents or any mother in a relationship, especially if it's going to be negative. Okay. okay? You're going to say your shalom? Shalom to all of Israel, all the Israelite sisters out there believing in Christ, and all the Gentile sisters out there believing in Christ. Right. This is for the Gentile sisters, too. Right. Okay. Right. To to Esau, the so-called white sisters, Japanese, Chinese, African, Arabs, uh, East Indian sisters who want to come and learn. Ishmael. Uh, Ishmael, the Arabs. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, the Samoan sisters who are all wrapped up in that Mormonism. Right. Okay. We come in, we come in from the scripture what Christ said how to be how to have a relationship. Okay, all you Israelite sisters out there, so-called strippers and all that, and all you sisters out there um, who's having a relationship to where the man is henpecked. Yes. You know what I'm saying? The man is henpecked, meaning the man is sprung. Right. Don't you, you get tired of your man being henpecked? Right. Don't and you want a strong man in Christ? Who wants a henpecked man? Nobody. No good woman wants a henpecked man. Trust. Right. No woman in Christ wants a henpecked man. She wants right. a man that's going to be in Christ. Not all sprung out and henpecked and weak and soft and effeminate. Nobody, the one woman, want no effeminate man. Because when that time comes, and in the last days, you can't depend on a henpecked man. Not for nothing. You're going to be on your own. Right. So with that, we say shalom, shalom to the brothers and sisters in Israel and Christ and to the Gentile brothers and sisters and stay strong in Christ and how Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai and let's fight and let's keep fighting and warring and loving one another until the end and to death. All right? Kind. All right, shalom. Shalom.